Hello programmers, I'm Yash Patel and welcome to my video tutorial on Swift programming. So today we will learn how to assign date picker view uh, to a text field. So what happens uh, is whenever you click a text field, instead of a uh, keyboard coming out, a date picker view will come out so that you have a limited set of options and a user has to select any one of the limited options. So that's a good and there are multiple formats available for the picker view which is like only date only time uh, we also have a countdown timer wheel so let's get started create a new xcode project single view application name it uh, date picker hit next save it wherever you like create and under main dot storyboard we just need a text field so just drag and drop a text field and add constraints 8, 10 and 10 and height will be same so here we have it so just uh, connect the <coughs> text field to your view controller so let's say date field and here it is so let's hop over to view controller we are done with the storyboard part so here first let's get rid of this First, we will create a instance of picker view. So it will be UI date picker and open close parenthesis. Now we will create a function which will be function create date picker. So uh, what happens is whenever you create a picker, whenever you assign a picker view to a text field, uh, picker view does come out, but in order to close that picker view we need some sort of button okay we have like done button on our keyboard so we will create our done button using a toolbar stay with me you will know what I'm doing so toolbar so let toolbar is equal to UI toolbar open close and just write toolbar dot size to fit now we need to create a button which is done button for toolbar let done is equal to ui bar button item and it uh, choose this one with a bar button system item and just hit dot because it's an enum so it automatically options will show up so we will select done method target will be nil and uh, for now let action be nil uh, we need to add a function here so that uh, we can reference it by saying like do this when done is pressed so now we need to assign this to our toolbar so toolbar dot set items and it's an array so just under array pass done and animated will be false so we are done with the done done button and we assigned it to the toolbar but what now uh, now we need to assign this toolbar to our like field okay our text field so it will be date field dot input accessory view is equal to toolbar that's it and we need to assign our picker view as well so date field dot input view will be our picker okay so and uh, let's run it once so we know what we want so let's don't forget to call the function in view to load so let's try it on 7 plus so application is loading and here it is so here is our text field when I click it the picker view comes up and the done button also shows up so here is our picker view with like date and time now let's say we just want date okay so what we can do here is like uh, format format picker for date so it will be like picker dot date picker mode is equal to and here are ob all the options so we have countdown timer we have date we have date and time and time just select date and let's run it again and see what's and see the difference 
so the application is running and now you can see only date option uh, is visible so that's good now we just need to like uh, work with the done button so what uh, the logic will be when done is pressed the selected date goes in here okay so let's create a function for that so uh, okay we need to add this at OB, objc which is object so basically this is uh, mandatory after uh, swift 3 so in swift 4 you have to write at objc if you want to reference something in selector method so let's create function done pressed okay so under action we will like type selector and inside brackets just type done pressed so right now we don't get error but like let's see what happens if we take this out we get an error here saying that add obj is uh, add uh, objc to your instance method so like basically selector is something which is based on objective c so if you press fix it does it for you so here we are so let's just for now let's just assign a date to our field so our field is date field dot text will be a string and just write picker dot text dot date and we need to uh, like uh, pull down the picker view as well so it will be self dot view dot view dot end editing and it will be true and let's test it again so here we have our picker view we select something and we press done it comes like it comes the whole date thing comes out so how do we format this uh, in order to format this, we will do the formatting in done pressed. So, format date, and it will be we need a date formatter. So, formatter is equal to date formatter. Formatter dot date style is uh, I like medium. Let's try medium, and you can play around with the options. Dot time style is equal to dot none and uh, now we just need to create a date in string format so that date string is equal to formatter dot type string from date and date we will pass in picker dot date that's it just replace picker dot date with the date string and we are good to go let's run the application is running and here we have it whenever we uh, click on tap on a uh, text field uh, picker view comes up instead of the keyboard and uh, once we select our chosen date we just hit done and the date shows up in the format as we want so this is how you use pick uh, date picker view for text field it's not that complicated and I will be posting my code on my website and uh, I will link it down in the description. So do check it out. Anyways, thank you guys. Keep watching more Swift 4 videos coming soon.